Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about integration. So now I want to show you how to answer. We have the formula in here. Psi x square plus cos x square equals to number 1. So if I put this one going here, we have 1 minus psi x square And now we need to transform this one into this one. So for this one, I need to transform into the absolute value of cosine s. Next, we need to consider about the bounds in here. So we see that s between number zero and b over 2. So in this domain, we know that cosine s is greater than or equals to number 0 because if we put number 0 in here, we have number 1, b over 2, we have number 0. So between this one, there's still about positive. That means we can cancel the absolute value in here and we have positive cosine s next we can use about integration by substitution so i will put about u equals to psi s later that we do first derivative for the both side and we have cosine s the s now we need to change the bounds when s equal to number 0 so i will put number 0 cone here and u equals to number 0 when s equals to b over 2 so i will put b over 2 cone here and u equals to number 1. Number 0, we keep the same. b over 2, we change by number 1. This one, we change by u. And u. Cosine s, the s, we change by the u. Next, number 4, I will put into... 1 plus 3 because I want to create about identities in here next we can use about integration by trigonal metric substitution so I will put about u minus 1 equals to the square root of number 3 tan t because if i put this one going here we have 3 tan t square number 3 and number 3 we can do about factorization tan t square plus 1 we change by secant of t square and later that we simplify the square root and du so we do first derivative for the both side. This one we have number one. This one that is about the constant. So you got zero in here. This one we have the square root of number three secant of t square dt. Next we need to change the bounds. So when u equals to number 0, so I will put number 0 cone here to find the value of t. So, so we divide both sides by the square root of number 3. So we have t 
equal to octang of negative number one over the square root of number three. So we calculate this one and we have negative b over six. Next, when u equals u number one, so that should be about this one. Now I will put number one cone here, so we have t equals to number zero. So number zero we change by this one. Number 1, we change by number 0. U minus 1, we change by this one. The U, we change by this one. So, this one, we have 3 times T square. So, number 3 and number 3. We can do about factorization. So, tan t square plus 1, we change by second of t square. And now we can simplify about this one. So, we have number 3 with the square root of number 3 and we have secant of t to the power of 3 now we can simplify the square root of number 3 secant of t square and this one we have cosine t The integration of cosine t, we have sine t. And now we can put the bounds from negative b over 6, number 0 in here. So we simplify this one and we have 1 over 6. This is the end. Thank you for watching.